After investing a large amount of time and money building a new engine, it can all end in failure, with engine seizure or even melted pistons, or the engine simply fails to deliver the expected performance. The problem lies with the carburetor setup. Each different engine requires a different carb setup. For stock engines, these are determined in the factory test lab, but for a modified engine, the builder has no way of knowing what the correct carburetor setup should be, and without understanding the tuning procedure, the correct setup is never achieved. In this video series, we're going to provide that tuning procedure to learn how to safely tune a carburetor for a modified engine and gain maximum performance. This involves discovering the answers to these questions. Carburetor type, carburetor throat bore diameter, throttle valve slider cutaway radius, needle geometry, needle position, atomizer type, atomizer ring diameter, main jet diameter, idle jet diameter, low throttle idle screw position, fuel valve diameter, float weight. If all these questions are answered correctly, the engine will deliver its performance and you'll fly. If any of the questions are answered incorrectly, the engine will fail to deliver or simply fail. The task is made more difficult because each component modifies the effect of other components by varying degrees. This means that there are effectively an infinite number of possible setups. How can we even start to make choices? We need a fuel map that can guide us. This is determined by the needle and atomizer. But the fuel map options are hidden in an incomprehensible catalogue of numbers and dimensions. These dimensions describe the geometry of each needle and together with the atomizer, the basic fuel map of the carburetor is created. But we've never been able to see this map. And without it, carburetor tuning has always been a fog of confusion. However, that has all changed. A new software has been developed that calculates every available fuel map for a carburetor. For the first time outside of the factory testing labs, the engine tuner can examine in detail the fuel delivery curve of their carburetor. This transforms and simplifies the tuning process. We can see the exact throttle position when the needle taper is hit. Problems can be identified according to throttle position. Modification can be planned in advance by running multiple simulations. If we want to lean the fuel mix in mid-throttle and increase the richness at a higher load, the fuel map can be first designed in a virtual environment, perhaps weakening further across the entire throttle range. Areas of the fuel map can be isolated. The low throttle region can be fixed so that our low throttle settings aren't changed. Only the taper is being tested. So any change in performance is solely due to the taper. There is no confusion. The brain is free to focus on all phases of the carb and the different fuel flow modifiers that are applied to the map. Tuning a carburetor is no longer a black art derived from decades of experience. Anyone can now rapidly learn how to tune a carburetor. There is a strict procedure that must be followed, but this will be explained in the coming videos, along with an understanding of each of the carburetor components and how they affect the fuel flow. If the correct tuning procedure is followed, the beginner will be able to safely and successfully tune the carburetor to extract maximum performance from their engine. You will need the needle carb fuel mapper. Without it, you have no chance of understanding your carburetor. And you can download it from fuelmapper.com and learn to use it over the course of this video series. Links are in the description. And if you like the idea of this tuning series, and you think that this has been a good introduction, a thumbs up will help others find this starting point. A subscribe to be alerted to each new video. Next up, we look at carburetor selection. Keep watching to view the software.